Hey, glad you're here. Recycle Rush, Robot in Three Days, and some new products. Let's talk about those things. The first thing I, I want to mention is the game, Recycle Rush. People have been asking me if I like it or I don't like it. I don't know. I wait to judge these games whether or not I like them or don't like them until I actually start seeing them being played. Every year there's discussion on Chief Delphi on Facebook about how people don't like the game. Don't, I don't like the game because of whatever. I ask you guys just, just to give it a chance. It, it is what it is. We're not going to change it. Um, let's, let's, I'd like to accept it. I think it's, the thing is I do like about it, I think it's a really fun game to design a robot for. There's a, a whole different array of drivetrains and lift mechanisms and things that we haven't really done the last three years. The last three years it's been a throwing game, not a not a lift and placing game. So I think this year is an exciting challenge. I guess I request you guys to not be um, militant in your dislike for the I suggest that you give it a chance. Um, I am having some yogurt today. I've got some grapes, uh, some cheese. I think I've got a cookie here and a, I think this is turkey. Turkey and provolone. Some other things we want to talk about are the Robot in Three Days groups. I think there's six different groups going on right now that are um, building robots in three days. It's led by the group down in Orlando, Florida, and they're doing very well from what I can see. And there's a group here at Andy Mark, Team Indiana, and then there's four other groups around the nation and in Canada. If you have time to go check those efforts out, it's pretty cool to see what they're up to. Let's talk Talons and Victors. Um, us and also three or four other companies, Vex Robotics and a few others, are selling Talons and Victors. We've had many requests for Talons, even though we're we have some in stock, and then we went out of stock, and now we're having more in stock this week. Keep in mind that the Talons are more expensive. They're $20 more expensive than the Victors, and the Talons are more expensive because they use a CAN bus communication. If you don't need CAN bus, if you're just going to use PWM control, use the Victor. It's going to be $20 cheaper, and we have those in stock. Kind of, I found it interesting this year that there, there are no required or mandated bumpers, so the bumpers are optional. I suppose it's a way to get more weight on your robot if you want to put a bumper on it. Maybe it will help you as you lift your totes from falling over if you can put more weight on your robot down low. I, I don't know. One of our staff here said that we've had some people calling and they're wondering if, if it's legal to have bigger wheels on your drivetrain. First of all, we don't determine the rules so it's, it's difficult for us to answer if something's legal or not, but that's a pretty easy one. By all means, yes, you can have 10 inch wheels, you can have 20 inch wheels on your robot. Uh, just because the kit chassis uses 4 inch wheels doesn't mean that you, could, you cannot use a bigger wheel. So have at it. I did see one thread on Chief Delphi that was talking about the noodle agreement with the game. And the noodle agreement would be if you and your opponent or your alliance across the field from you, if you both agree to just dump noodles at the end of the match, in a position where all 10 noodles get your opponent four points apiece, and they do the same, that's 40 points for each alliance, and that would be an agreement that you would have with that other alliance to make sure they have 40 points, to make sure you have 40 points. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I, I would like to see it just naturally happen. Hopefully there isn't. I, I can't think of a reason why you would mandate that not to happen. So I hope to see it happen. I'm excited to do another series of these talks this, this year. If you have any questions, please send them to us where, if you're asking for input from folks, where do they send questions and that kind of stuff. So we're tweeting and we're on Facebook and that kind of stuff, so if you want to tweet at us, at Andy Mark Inc., you can ask us questions. I mean, we're going to do this every day, and just like we have in the past, we'll talk about other, other products. Oh. I said I was going to talk about product. This is kind of a, this is a new one, Swerve and Steer. It gets you um, torque from the sim motor out to the wheel, and it gives you steering power from the PG27 out to here. So this will be a um, all-in-one solution for Swerve Drive. I think it's about 8.2 pounds, both Swerve and Steer, and it, it's really nice. We're, we're waiting on a couple of these gears to be 
anodized, and those should be back by the end of the week for those to be available for teams. We got a new Omni wheel. Some teams might want to use this for for kilo drive this year. This might be a year that a kilo drive would be successful on the field since pushing power is not a is not a requirement this year. Quickness and speed and agility might be might be more of a requirement than pushing power. And we do have these extrusions and the extrusion packages and brackets. Rev is a new small company out of Texas. Uh, David Yanisak and Greg Needell are running that. They're making some pretty cool things, not only mechanical stuff, but also they have some electrical stuff like the some NXP boards to go with your Robo Rio. So check those out too. So that's what I think about stuff. My question to you is what do you think about Recycle Rush? We'll see what other folks around here have to say about that and then hopefully you'll give us some feedback also. My name's John Kenfield. My initial reaction to Recycle Rush is that I kind of like it. Hello, my name is Liz. I'm a mentor on Team 3940. Two alliances are split on two different sides of the field and I'm really excited about having huge changes like this. My name is Danny Blau. I'm a mentor for 1529. It's a really, really complicated, really interesting engineering challenge. But from a gameplay point of view, I'm, I'm really kind of questioning, you know, I, I want to see it in action. I want to see it, you know, shake out, see robots, you know, driving around three alliance, you know, three robot alliances, having fun, you know, co-oping, working together on stuff. While I reserve all my judgments till week zero and week one play out, um, I really and truly think that this is going to be a great game.